What's up everybody, it's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Today I'm gonna do a review of one of my favorite plugins, Boyes Continuum. If you don't know, Boyes Effects is the same company behind Mocha VR, an award-winning VR plugin for object removal and all the other fancy features. So Boyes BBC 11 currently in beta, they actually add in a brand new VR tool set to help VR professional how to do better to do better production, including image sharpening, reorient, and all the other fancy features. I actually used the sharpening tool in my latest video release. You can check it out right here. And now let's take a detailed look of the plugin suite. So here's Continuum website. Uh, right now on the website they only have version 10, but version 11 is gonna release very soon. So now we are in After Effects. Uh, you see right now is one of the clips uh, from one of my latest release of my music video. Uh, this is shot by Instant 360 Pro in 8K quality. And one of the biggest complaints about this camera is people said that the footage is a little bit soft, as you see right here. So we can use BBC to fix that. So uh, go ahead, if you haven't already, in here under BBC 11, there's this entire suite of a VR tool set. So the one I'm gonna use is the BBC VR Sharpen effect. So I already drop it in here. If you turn it on, and you immediately see the left and right comparison. What the cool feature of a BBC is every effect has this side by side view. You can turn it on. You have a left and right before and after. It really clearly to see the effect improvement of this effect. So I already dive in my setting. Uh, which I think is the best for this particular video. As you see, I have a lot of control of how to sharpen your footage. Before we actually like move on to the next plugin, actually I want to compare this plugin with one of the metal skybox sharpening tool. So uh, one of the things is that about VR sharpening is if you don't use VR sharpening tool, you have create a stitch line on left and right because all the other uh, sharpening tool basically in after effect native doesn't aware of the edges so you have to use some kind of vr sharpening tool like the one in here skybox sharpening on bbc vr sharpening tool but let's see like let's compare between the skybox version and the bbc version so now i turn on the skybox version as you see skybox version of the sharpening tool is doing really good job on the edges but still uh it's not really what i want and also, as you see the Skybox version, the control is only the sharpening amount. It's very simple to use, but there's not enough fine-tuned control um, for you to really sharpen the footage and make it look good and stand out. Um, I'll turn this back off and pay attention to the clothing right here. So if you want to achieve the same result of the Skybox sharpening tool, you can actually just dial back into the, the fine radius to 1. And then you kind of have the same result and actually without this all back to zero. So now you have the same result, uh, close same result as what you come out of the box from Metal Skybox Sharpening tool. But again, um, that to me is not good enough. I really want the footage to stand out and look sharp. So that's why I dial up the radius to two on this footage. And I also dial in all the fine tune detail in here. Again, there's a lot of settings you can play around to find the best result you want. And that is the benefit of BBC VR Sharpening tool is the control you have come with this plugin. So you can really control your footage. And the final result, if you put on fit, turn side by side comparison off. You will see like, like if you turn it off, so everything is a little bit hazy and blurry. Turn it on, everything looks sharp and look good. So that is the BBC VR sharpening tool. So let's move on to the next tool that I use. So on this footage, I will also import another footage. Uh, it's a logo, so I want to patch my tripod leg right here. So you can easily do that in Metal Skybox, but again, you can also now do that with BBC Insert tool. It's actually really convenient as well. So in here, I actually gonna see uh, if I turn it on, it already patched the logo. I actually gonna move the logo down so you are not actually see the frame. You only see the um, the patch for the tripod. If you go back here, so I drop in the BBC insert too, uh, and in here 
I picked the footage which the logo bangs right here. It's actually a movie, it's not a static logo, it's actually an MOV file. Uh, so I picked this logo and then this video is, so it's other great feature at uh, BBC is it considered the footage from a 180 to 360 degree have option and also have mono and stereo. So uh, you can do both mono and stereo using this effect, not a metal sky bar, which is kind of only can do mono at this point. So uh, in here, I would just adjust the distance. So it, it comes before as one. So that's basically the same like uh, percentage of uh, setting of metal sky bars, the, the project 2D. So if you make it smaller, so to make the image, the the Z space closer and then it will be bigger and cover the entire tripod leg right here. So another great feature about this insert tool that uh, doesn't have in a Metal Skybound 2D uh, tool is if you go in 100% and really like look at to the edges of this insert. So uh, it's this feature that I really like, which is the insert ADS, uh, anti-ADSing. So now if you put in none, that is actually what default for metal sky bar. So metal sky bar doesn't have this option, right? So you will have this joggy edges uh, of the insert of your image. So um, that doesn't look good if people like looking at the VR goggle. So uh, you want to like avoid to improve this. You can, you can easily just do that with the best quality and you pay attention to the edges. Now you look all straight. So that is a really powerful setting that you don't need to do a extra hacking like in Metal Skybox, you put the, the footage into a composition, you create like edges around composition, the transparency footage, and put it back into the footage to, to get rid of that uh, joggy edges. And in, and in here, you don't even need to do that. You can just pick a setting and then you get rid of all the joggy edges. So that is another really powerful tool, BBC Insert. So BBC, again, they also have the entire color grading suite, but we're not talking color grading here. I just want to make footage go better, so I put in color grading, and now you see the final result of footage. And it's pretty amazing improvement. Okay, the next tool we're going to talk about is I create a new comp right here. So in this new comp, I imported an image sequence output directly from Instant 360 Pro Stitcher. It's the stereo 3D footage. So uh, BBC 11 also have an anti-suite to work with stereo footage, and I will show you why now. So uh, this footage is actually shot in a gamma profile, so uh, it looks kind of flat. So I will just turn on uh, one of the BBC level gamma adjustment tool. So actually look a little bit nicer, so you see what's going on. So one of this stereo footage uh, is actually me handhelding the camera and in a moving car. So uh, I, there's no way for me to like actually know the horizon. So uh, the horizon is not straight. And if you use like metal sky bar to try to straighten like horizon in stereoscopic footage, you will know it's actually very challenging. Uh, in here, BBC reorient is actually very easy. So I drop the orient to right here. So first thing I want BBC to know, this is not a mono footage, it's actually a stereoscopic footage in top and bottom. So I put that. And then the output uh, is stereo as well, and it's the 360 degree footage. And then I go ahead and reorient. So a really cool feature is the built-in view mode. Uh, that is really like, if you hit the preview, you can actually like uh, see the what people can see in the VR goggles are the real perspective of how to line straight the horizon uh, with, with the way I'm really familiar with. So uh, another trick in here is, uh, because this is stereoscopic right, top and bottom, but if I only want to see one, you can actually put the output format into just left eye. And now we only output left eye and in a comfortable viewer window, and I actually turn on title safe and I put in a guard right here. So that is a horizon line I will try to straighten with the footage. So first I actually want to like, that is actually back of the car because I flipped my camera. So first thing I want to do is actually flip the footage. So you see, you can pan, you can like, uh, do the same like panning uh, in your VR goggle. So you get the same feeling of it. So this is actually the front I really want. So I will put it right here and that is the front. And from here, I will just adjust the angle. Yeah, 
at the horizon line right there and that should be the horizon line uh well after that let's let's check it so now we can flip back into full view and here top and bottom and now we can like see how straight the horizon so now you see the full effect is actually really straight right now so you can literally jump back and forth with the full view to see the horizon line and go in to the front view the preview view and in your comfortable environment to see how straight uh it's just uh the horizon line in the vr goggle view so that is really convenient so you can walk in you can work into your comfortable way to address horizon uh, to me is a great time saver and i love all this feature you have okay here is another example i prepared for you it's actually the time left footage and as you see the time left footage uh i've rendered right here and this light is keep flashing because uh it's a fluorescent light um it, it come up with this like really nasty blue color so uh this footage is basically unusable because of this but if you try to like rescue it there is an other feature called bbc vr flicker fixer which is an other really interesting tool um uh, if you use that actually i already add one in here so if you add that you see if i turn it on And see it actually get rid of uh, that nasty blue as uh, you can still see some but uh you see that what bbc the flicker to uh is trying to like look at each frame and try to find a color different uh, as you see i put in a setting um i'm actually temporary smooth rgb so you look at the color setting and try to smooth out of footage so you can also use the first one serve the flicker so this footage uh as you see if i use that i already lost my subject uh, but again, this switch shot pretty bad. So with all the flickering, because it's not in many more as well. But uh, let's say that if you shot in a sunset and sunrise, um, you set a menu and you still see the flickering because time lapse issue. You can easily drop in a VR flicker fixer too and to get rid of the the visual flicker light different of even footage. So it's really useful as well. Um, you can play around with too. So hopefully you like this review of BBC 11 beta version. Uh, at the time of recording, this is still in beta. It's not official release yet, but hopefully it will release very soon. So you can try out the plugin. Um, I use it a lot in my production now and really increase um, my video quality and my speed of production. So that is my review of the brand new BBC Continuum 11, uh, the VR2 sets. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. Uh, if you have more questions, uh, please comment below and I will see you next time.